Where's, where's that going? Hey guys, it's me, Blue Doggo, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, which of course is season three of the series. Today we are doing episode four, hopefully all the way through. If not, this will be split up into multiple parts or two parts, probably two parts, but yeah, well, let's just get started. Previously on The Walking Dead. Where's my captions? No! There they are. You monsters! Clem. Fucking Garcias! Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. <sighs> Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. Oh, we know what happens. I knew I could count on you, brother. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. We get a little bit hit in the head by a gun. Oh no, poor us. And of course we have to start with the flashback that's completely out of order from the other ones, but still. Let me make sure that my audio is right. Okay, that's good. Let's continue. Like okay, our cousin? I swear, there's so many people in this game that look like our cousin from the first episode that got scratched. Damn it. Strike one. I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. Oh, yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey, man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? If you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band player signatures are worth way more on resale. I could ruin the crap. baseball, but I'm feeling nice. Just your name is fine. Let's just sign it for her. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this. You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. And let's crush it. Oh, it's out of here. Holy cow. You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. You should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Strike two. Ben, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. Oh, wow. Sorry, David. Look, it's cool if you're trying to cheer me up. Not really. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. 
Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed a distraction. You know, let's miss this one. See? We all have off days. Come on, man. Don't start sucking on my account. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. I was just trying to be I nice, do. David. And I'm good at it. Shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Okay, Don't you were the one that on me. Gotta pay attention. Oh, the batting cage is serious business. You're about the last person who should be telling people about serious business, Hoppy. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. By crushing it. My God, the crowd is going wild. I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, what's wrong? Come back. I came here to reconnect. Instead, you just want to show me up. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been yeah, that help way me for understand. Years. You tried to help me. Yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right. Drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So, whatever you do now, you gotta put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate. Are That's the opposite of what you're doing. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. No, the kids are too young for you to leave them. You gotta be around the, you know, coach them on stuff. What the hell do you know about raising children, Hobby? I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. I'll you be can count on me. Since you won't. If you want to go... You should go. Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah. We good. Come on. Let's get out of here. Buy your beer. And now, get let's jump there. forward about maybe five or six I years. You go on the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. It's why I haven't shot you already. Thanks, how I'm helping you. Joan's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you tried to attack her. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them... And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. You do anything she tells you to do, huh? Go along with whatever she says just to keep your place. It's not like that. Joan's got a tough job. She needs all our help to keep this place safe. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. Sure. This is bad. What are we going to do? I never trusted Joan. I didn't think she'd turn on me like this. Dave, hey. I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. This Big is on Joan. Joan lied. You couldn't have anticipated that. It was a sneak attack. I'm glad you see that. You may be the only one. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? Yeah, 
You talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. Yeah, I didn't talk you out of it. I told you now I'd be there for them. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's going to happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They got to survive no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together. You never give up on anybody. Hug. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Go away. Our we present. don't like you. You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I'll be a huge if you try problem. To hurt David. I'm going to be a huge problem. No, you'll just get yourself hurt. It's sad how we ended up here, but Clinton Lingard agree. You've become a problem. You're the problem. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. Well, apparently the last the episode we were, because that's the name of the last person. episode. This place could have been something. You might be. Something good. And you ruined it. This place needs me to keep it safe. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Don't trust her, David. Bring him with us. She's gonna kill you. Luckily, games like these leave exactly what we need to get out of jail cells. For example... Could squeeze through there. Uh, this place. Why am I walking away? Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Is there anything in the lockers, actually? Uh, nothing useful here. Of course there isn't. Wait a minute, I know what I can grab. I can grab a weapon over here. Now I've got a pipe. Also, is this stool going to be big enough? I think this is actually what we need. Yep, there we go. No, we're not strong enough. Gabe. Gabe? Where did they take He down? saves us. I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Don't know why I was just sitting there and not helping him. Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on.
Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. Is Eleanor's place safer? I don't know. Safe enough, I guess. Trip's there. He wouldn't let anything happen to her. We should probably keep moving. Of course Trip wouldn't, because he loves her. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Oh, nice work. Thank you. How'd you not get caught? He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. He's negotiating with them now. He'll work it out. Let's just see what happens, okay? All clear. Come on. He keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. Not after we found him again. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Hold up. gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. You shouldn't be a prisoner. People are scared. They don't know who's in charge or who to trust. I trust you, Kate, and Dad. That's it. What about what about Eleanor and Tripp? You trust them, place. right? We made it. Great. Let's get in there. close yeah this wasn't so busy before what are they up to come on let's get inside they're preparing to do something with your dad Gabe Because everyone hates your dad now. For no reason. Because he told it like it is. That Joan is a killer. The Walking Dead, a new frontier. And you can hear it's a bit windy outside. Just a little bit windy, if you can hear it. It's not like I needed any more background noise. Calling it a presentation. It's kind of low. Episode 4, Thicker Than Water.
I don't know if I feel like that. Hello, Kate. I hear some things happening in the background. I missed you. I missed you too. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? In prison. Joan threw me and David in jail, if you can believe it. Great. So you gave these people more reason to hate us. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. We just can't trust Joan. She's trying to remove David from power by pinning murders on him. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. There's too much unfinished business here. Javi! Sorry. We can't leave yet. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. I don't think I want to look. Oh. Holy shit. That's a lot of dead people. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. How it's not my fault. That happen? It's not my fault. We had the opportunity. We should have gone. Are you crazy? I'd rather take my chances out there than in here. Then you're an idiot. Look at you. You wouldn't have lasted eight seconds past those walls. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. If we're really going to make it out of here, we have to be ready to shoot our way out, right? Yeah, right. Good. <laughs> You two have fun with that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Okay, Gabe never said Coming. they were in the armory. He just said his dad okay. told him where they were. Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. Oh, I heard. Away. I, I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Was it fair? Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. With all that's going on here, everybody's feeling overwhelmed. Try to wait for the right time. Maybe she'll come around. <sighs> uh huh. Right. Okay. Good luck out there. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. Looks like Bob's on duty. 
I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? Yeah, I think I do. Although sometimes those decisions just don't work out how you want them to. Well, can we trust Ava? But you'll see at the end of this episode. Can we really trust her? I trust her enough for right now, and that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone other than you and Kate, Mariana. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Let's go get some weapons so we can fight back and save David, hopefully. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. for a key either. I have to do this the hard way. Yeah, that's not going to attract some attention. Excuse me, my stomach is upset for Put some reason. Back. We got a gun. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Why do you scare us like that, Ava? When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. There's a person coming. Freeze! No, don't you shoot me.
Ow. There was no need for stabbing me in the side. Javi, well, in the shoulder. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my God. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Why am I not moving? I'm moving. Oh, okay, apparently I have to move backwards, even though it showed me moving the cursor up. Or moving my finger up. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Aw, oh, they're bonding over guns. Clem? Is that Clementine? Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. There, there was this guy named up. Sleeping Beauty, and there was a knife, and you it went in me. my shoulder. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. All right. Go for it. But if I lose Wait my arm, that's on you. I remember uh -huh. from season two. You'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Don't think I've forgotten about season two. You okay? Telltale. I'm fine. I'm lucky I didn't choose the I go with family option from episode bleeding. one of I know, this season. It's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it? I just don't understand. It's a normal it's thing. Totally normal. I mean, it's something female women have. It's, uh, what's next? It's not fun. I know that, but Kate manages. You, you'll be fine, too. Manages? How? I'm bleeding. It's supposed to happen. You'll be fine, Clem. I, I promise. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh, Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Here we go. Clem, I think I got you something you'll need. Why is my stomach upset? Maybe it's because I haven't eaten anything today. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. Clementine, I got something hey, for you. This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle 
Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. You think you remember? <sighs> okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Try not to breathe. I think I need that Look, for a living. I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Even Ava would have to admit I was a good mom to AJ. And here's our Clementine flashback, which isn't gonna make sense for what I chose in season two, but whatever. Oh, so that's actually weird. Because I know if you choose to go with Kenny or Jane, you get an extra scene before this. But apparently, I guess if you choose Wellington or go alone, you don't get this extra scene before this. <laughs> Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. Like this flashback is significantly shorter really glad I found you. who you choose to go with. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here. You know, this flashback, when I first played it, back when I did this by myself, just playing the game for fun, this one almost made me cry. Was that peanut butter? I think that was peanut butter. That's not peanut butter. That's not peanut butter. I want H.A.'s painting. This is what almost made me cry, was her seeing the painting. David wanted you to have that. This... Thank you. You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering? We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, People can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. I could maybe find some others. Town or something. We all have to fit in somewhere, right? Just because it didn't work out with us doesn't mean you won't find happiness somewhere else. Don't stop looking. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone... Or something. Oh, Lee, we get I to talk about to Lee. Lee. You never mentioned him. He took care of me for a while. Every time Back when I, I was a kid, AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. So is AJ. 
from the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell. You and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Those good people you mentioned before, the ones you said would be out there, well, there's an old airfield about 10 or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are definitely good people there. I'm sure they'll take you in. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Me too. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. Hey, stand up. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. At least I didn't have to sit there watching it. Thanks, flashback. Are you coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. <sighs> Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. Maybe it's because I haven't that eaten that special. He's he's not getting out. Guess there's only one course has to sure act way up to get away from Joan video. these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want. How, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! He's and still around, have just... Any reason to do it. Clem, I, I'm sorry. I can't kill him. He needs to live.
I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <sighs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. I'm sorry, Clem. I couldn't just oh. kill him. Hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah. I'm right back at you. You all good? Yeah. We're all set. Let's roll. Mm. Good to see you. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Aw, oh, they're bonding. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. The guy's clearly an addict. He was destroyed when we got there. It would be sad if it wasn't so reckless. It's pathetic is what it is. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Jones people know mm -hmm. we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just because they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. But we're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now, how the fuck are we going to put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security. Detail. Shoot her dead. We move in fast. Guns blazing. And we take her out. Couple of bullets. Problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you. But I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for Walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? You're bleeding right through that bandage. It's not deep, it's just bled a lot. Besides, it's already taken care of. Clementine sewed me up back at the doctor's. You still didn't answer my question. What happened? He got stabbed, okay? By one of the guards. 
thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. It's not a bad place to start. And it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel. Gabe. When he came after us. He tried to bargain with you. You little fucking asshole! You don't scare me. You shot him. You Why killed would you tell him? him? What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man. He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Gabe, how could you, you tell him? me to get the truck? Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Ooh, we could use that. We could use this truck too. Does it work? Locked. We can't catch a break. <sighs> Where those would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. 
We could use all this heavy machinery to destroy anything. Cranes, what? That's a not a bulldozer, that's just a I don't know what these are called, okay? I'm not fluent in trucks and car speak and tractor speak. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. What are the chances? I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. <gasps> people. There's people. Don't alert them. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are gonna get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Come on, Kate, Ready? let's do this. Ready. After all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? <laughs> At least you can admit it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Yay, hotwiring something. Try not to shock yourself. That is illegal. Shit. I'll need Good thing to this is the, the apocalypse. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? Maybe it's gonna be in that toolbox. You never know. Toolbox. We got a hammer. Shit. Okay, we got someone fighting us for the hammer like it's Black Friday. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. I don't know if this game is accurately teaching you how to hotwire a car. The fuck was that for? Wire cutter should help with this. Yeah, like, I have no clue if this game is teaching you how to hotwire a car. Gotta connect the battery. Legitimately. Oh, I don't know which wire connects to which. Don't get electrocuted. Don't get electrocuted. Maybe it's these two. Let there be light. Oh, 
Okay, that was not smart. But the, but the... Abby, hurry up. Okay. Maybe I had to connect those two first and then connect those two. I've never... Hey, let's go, now! Like I said, I don't know if that's accurately teaching you how to talk about your car or not. I bet there's way more wires in a car than just those three. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good I would square. know because I'm a good child. Do we have enough gas? Well, not child. I'm, I'm a turn adult. The engine off again. I'm a good adult, and I would never hotwire a car because it's illegal, and I don't want to go to jail. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm Plus, what to use do I have anyway? That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really yeah, takes you back, it doesn't it? You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. Oh, she I've noticed. Likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair. That's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given him that. Him and Mari, both. You still can. And that's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time. That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Not who I am now, at least. I get it. Yeah, because apparently I used There's to not no be there for people. Way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I, and there are always a little hot and a little confusing, and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. But if you're saying we should marry, let's do it. Happen tomorrow, happens. I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. Yes. And I know the fact of that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know. Yes. Let's go for it. We got to try, right? Oh my God. Really? Really. So are we gonna... We're kissing in front of the kids. Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? 
it's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. And I hope he can handle it. I know he's good under pressure, but this is different. Yeah. Here's hoping he doesn't completely flip out. Considering we're about to save his life, maybe he'll cut us a break. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. No, oh, not David. Over here now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square. Shit. We gotta get uh, over there. Oh. Now. Be ready for the most BS choice in all of Telltale games that I've played so far. I'm going to hang back here with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. I will tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I'm getting a little worried about Ava. Something must have gone wrong. Something must have happened. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. Let's go rescue your dad, Gabe. There's that guy that looks like our cousin from the first episode again. We can't wait for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you. I hate you, Joan. I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered this man in cold blood. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. Okay, actually, that was my kill, and I did it because he was going to die anyway. She can't do this to him. Also kind of revenge. He's kept him safe. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but this is taking it to the next level. we got to be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that, and fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. Get up here. Now. She knows we're here now. No. We might as well. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't Traitor. that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty. Which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out! Get away from me! We're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no. They had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. 
You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crime. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Just this isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Maybe Jonah, it's about time you, sure you learn that. We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Luckily, I have the option of the pause button. Or your brother's lieutenant. I hate this choice so much. The reason I hate this choice is because it's a no-win situation. Whoever you choose dies. Because Joan flips the script and kills that person. And the other person that lives hates you forever now because you chose them to die and they didn't die. So yeah, I think though, out of all the people... That I could choose between these two. I think I've known Trip the longest. He's tough. He's strong. I think we need to save Trip. So yeah, I'm saving Trip. Let Ava live. She's always been loyal. Javi! No! Well, there's the Javi I know. Backstabbing, double-crossing, no good, dirty fucking murder. Such language. But I admire the sacrifice you're making here, Javi. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing. Ava's one of us. You can't fucking do this. This is fucked. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Shot her. God damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. And this just makes my later choice in this episode much more easier. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. I can't let this shit stand, Clint. I can't wait for your process to save us. No. Think about this, Hobby. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're going to handle this peacefully. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch. Take her out. She deserves it. I'm sorry, Clint, you don't but do it. I fucking will. Joan made this too easy. Nope. Oh, oh, I almost clicked take the deal. Go to hell, Joan. Gotta go rescue David. Don't you kill us. Let's get out of here. Son 
son of a bitch! Get back here! Gabe, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you, not me. Go on. Thanks. You leave Clementine alone. Shit, I gotta help her. God damn it. Just go. I'll try to cover you. We had a way out of this hobby. Why did you have to go and shoot her? Because she deserved it. Yes. Oh no, no, she's not. No, 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 don't kill her. Oh god! Javi, you've got to get over there before. Oh shoot. Jane! You know what's even worse? We just broke down their walls. And that's the end of the episode. I wonder if maybe it'll actually let me see my choices this time. Yeah, it's not going to let me see my choices. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I'm trying to switch safe files. I don't mean to do that. Next time, of course, will be the finale of the series. Episode 5, which I think is called uh, From the Gallows. Yeah, it's cold from the gallows. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time.